Hi, it's Debbie Williams. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I want to talk about what I learned from Paul McKenna. Now, I helped Paul from about 96. I was training with him a bit before then. And he did a year long program with Dr. Richard Bandler, uh, the guy who co-founded NLP. And I ended up assisting him then for many years afterwards on lots and lots of courses. And the, one of the things that I learned from Paul, one of the many things I learned from Paul, was that the trouble with happiness is people don't practice it enough. And it is so, so true. You know, we watch the news, it's 99.999% horrible stuff. We watch the soaps on TV and it's all negative thing because it creates drama of, you know, people fighting and arguing and, and being disloyal and generally bad behaviour. So we're almost dumbed down to the joy that is out there. You know, how many times have you actually stopped in this last week to look at something in nature and to have a bit of a breather to connect with our earth, to connect with the beauty that is around you? And I remember speaking to Paul many years ago when he was doing his weight loss courses and I said to him when I help people lose weight I always get them to keep um, a, a success journal to record their journey of what works and it's a very clean journal that only good things go in and Paul said oh that's a really good idea and I don't know whether it was me suggesting that or you know Paul's probably heard similar things before but within a couple of months he brought out his 90 days to success and see, we all influence each other. And I know I've been influenced so positively by Paul. I'd like to think that maybe he was influenced by me. And I hope that I can influence you positively to maybe get yourself a wonderful journal and start to write in the things that you could feel happy about. Whether it is top, stopping to smell a rose and to say to yourself, nature's wonderful to remembering, you know, days out with good friends, to remembering maybe something that's significant to you of winning an award, and to capture this information in a journal that only records good things. Now, when I help people overcome depression, this is one of the things that I do on the one stream is get them to do this because I'm saying to their brain, this is important, we want to look for this and we want to record it. And many times they will go away and they'll go out of their way to smell a rose and they'll rate it degree of pleasure out of 10 was a two, you know, because they've just got so disconnected from the happiness. But over time, the brain gets drawn to this and it learns. And it learns quicker than you can imagine to start focusing more on the positive and more on what can I learn to move on. Now I hope you've been inspired to get your success journal and also watch some more of the videos as I talk more on little strategies that you can do that really will work together to enable you to be happy and to practice it and to feel it. Bye now.